What's going on, guys? Hey, I want to come back to you, and I wanted to bring you a video about a man named Leonard Cure down in Georgia. And Leonard, they attempted to arrest Leonard for reckless driving because Leonard was driving 100 miles an hour and um, going down the road, and they pulled him over. The cop pulled him over and attempted to arrest Leonard, but Leonard decided to fight with the cop, to physically fight with the cop. And the cop shot and killed him. And uh, the mainstream media is trying to pass this off as um, this poor, unfortunate black man whose life was taken away by the cops. And this is not what happened. And again, we, we have truly got to understand there's something else in this story. Uh, Leonard was arrested and convicted back in 2003 of a crime that he did not commit. And he spent 16 years behind bars for that crime. And again, I understand that Leonard did not want to go back to jail. I get that. But we also have to understand that um, if, you, if you don't want to go back to jail, then guess what? Don't commit a crime. And if you do commit a crime... Don't fight with the cop. Don't don't physically fight with the cop because guess what? You're going to go to jail for longer. That, that is what's going to happen. But we also have to understand that Leonard committed multiple offenses before he was convicted of the crime that he did not commit. So we truly got to understand that. But guys, I'm going to show you the way the mainstream media is trying to tell the story. Watch this. Those who knew Leonard Cure tell 11 Alive that they're still in disbelief tonight. 11 Alive's Cody Alcorn picks up our team coverage tonight from downtown Atlanta. He's live outside of the Georgia Innocence Project. And Cody, how did that nonprofit and Leonard Cure cross paths? Jennifer and Ron, shortly after being released in April 2020, Leonard moved to Georgia, where he became part of Georgia Innocent Project's free and exonerated community. Turn around. 17 days before Leonard Cure was shot during a traffic stop in Camden County, the 53-year-old... Who trusted in a wrongful arrest before and wasn't released for 16 years. Spoke to a group of students at Jonesboro High School. One of the things that uh, he really harped on when he spoke to the students. During his original arrest in 2003. He was very compliant with the, the police. Christian Stegall helped prep Leonard for his speech, really getting to know him. I can only imagine what was going through his mind when um, he was poured over again. So guys, yeah, let's take a look at Leonard's traffic stop and see where things went wrong. Step out! Get out! Get out! Put your hands back here. I ain't doing shit. Put your damn hands back here. Dude. Who are you? Staff Sergeant Officer Sheriff's Office. My name is Al Wayne. I don't care. Step to the rear of this vehicle. In the name of who? In the name of the it's law of the state of Georgia. Step back here. Now you're getting tased. We have got to understand this guy does not want to listen to the cops. He doesn't. You know, and again, the, the reason why they feel like, you know, they can get away with the whatever they can, they what they want to get away with is because the media does not hold these men to account. If you're, if you're black, and again, even if you committed a crime, even if you won't listen to the cops, again, you're somehow the victim. You're, even if you attack the cops, you are somehow the victim. That's what you are. And we have, we have to buy this, man. These thugs, that's what they are, thugs. We have to buy that um, they're somehow the victims. No, they're not. And again, if you, if you act this way, you would deserve every bit of what you get. Back of that truck. Do you see that? Put your hands on the back of that truck. The back of the truck. Both hands. Turn around. 
Sorry, for Kim, send me another unit, one non-compliant. Your name is Officer who? Staff Sergeant Aldridge with the Camden County Sheriff's Office. Who County? Camden County. Put your hand behind your back. Do I have a Do I have a warrant? Wait, wait. No, 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 no. no. Excuse me. Excuse me. Either put your hands behind your back, or you're getting tased. I'm telling you that right Why? now. Why am I getting tased? Because you are under arrest for speeding and reckless driving. I'm not driving. Nobody was hurt. How was I speeding? You passed me doing 100 miles an hour. Okay, so that's a speeding ticket, right? Sir, tickets in the state of Georgia are criminal offenses. I don't have a ticket in Georgia. You do now. Why? You passed me doing 100 okay, miles an hour. And what? I'm not going. But I don't have a ticket. <laughs> you do now. <laughs> you do now. Because again, you were speeding. You you're reckless driving. That's why you have a ticket 100 miles an hour down the road. I mean, again, this guy, this guy does not get it. He does not get that. You know what? He broke the damn law. And guys, we have got to understand if anyone is doing 100 miles an hour driving down the road, that's reckless driving. You are not going to survive an accident at 100 miles an hour. Very, very low, very low chances. You know, so if you hit some, if you lose control and you hit some, you know, some, some family, again, you could kill the whole family, let alone yourself. But, you know, again, we should let this poor guy go because again, he's black. We should let him go. We should, we should allow him to have special privilege. Again, that's really what's happening here. Yeah, All right, guys, let's kind of recap for a second here. Leonard, he was pulled over by the cop because he was driving down the street going 100 miles an hour. And the cop pulled him over and told him to, to get out of the truck to put your hands behind your back and Leonard, <laughs> he would not comply. He just would not comply. And then the officer tased him because again, he would not put his hands behind his back. And Leonard attacked the officer, physically attacked the officer. And the officer had no choice. The officer tried to go for his baton, but he couldn't because again, there was no room. There was not much room between him and Leonard because they were fighting. They were wrestling. So the officer went for his gun, pulled out his gun, close rank, you know, and shot him. And he had no choice. He had no choice in the matter. Leonard left the man with no choice, left him with no choice but to shoot. And Leonard lost his life. But again, the way the mainstream media is fanning this, it's like, oh, this poor unfortunate black man and the the police officer took his life and everything. And come on, man. That's not, that's not the way things worked out. That's not the way things happened. Things weren't that way. But, but again, they're, they're going to fan the flames of racial division. They're going to make it seem like the poor black man did everything right and the officer did everything wrong. No, the officer did everything right. And the, the criminal did everything wrong. He was the one that did everything wrong. Again, we truly have to get to understand that um, normally that's the way it is. Normally, the criminal is the one that does things wrong. <laughs> that is what happens. That's what the criminals. But. Again, they're, they're, going to, they're going to fan the flames for racial division in this country. But Ben Crump, again, he couldn't miss the opportunity. And civil rights leaders, they're not going to miss one opportunity with this at all. Oh, no. They're going to make it about, you know, about race. Cure's family believes there was no de-escalation on either side. It was uh, excitement met with excitement. And result, I still believe in my heart 
and I know in my heart my brother should be alive. Cure's family and his family attorney, Ben Crump, held a press conference Wednesday, which is when they saw the video. Cure's mother says she feels her son was paranoid from already being wrongfully incarcerated, spending more than 16 years in prison. I can tell you this. There was nothing so bad that he deserved to die. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. He deserved to get shot. He deserved every bit of what he got. That's what that's what he got, and he deserved it. Because again, he attacked the cop. He attacked the cop. And again, that's one of the dumbest things you can do. One of the dumbest things you can do. Because again, you're going to get most likely you're going to get killed. That's what's going to happen. And again, if you, if if you kill the cop, if it works out that you kill the cop, guess what? You're going to jail for, for life. Maybe even the death penalty, depending on what state you're in. And we truly have to recognize, man, this guy got everything he deserved. And to the mother and the brother and whatever, I understand it hurts to lose a family member. I get that. But guess what? He was stupid. And that's what it was. And stupid people play stupid games and they win stupid prizes. That's what they do. And uh, we've got to understand there's no other way to put this. And if people truly believe that uh, they shouldn't have gotten shot, they're stupid. They are truly stupid. Because again, there's no way the officer could have de-escalated the situation. No way. I mean, again, what's he going to do? Have a conversation with them? Is he going to sit down and have a cup of coffee and a conversation with the guy and tell the guy to, you know, stop attacking him? Stop stop trying to kill him? Whatever? I mean, no, of course not. The guy, the guy is physically attacking you. There's nothing he could have done. And again, He's the one that um, that allowed the situation to become the way it is. The officer, the officer was doing his job, doing his job. And again, if if the cop did anything wrong, anything at all wrong, and again, I'm not trying to critique the cop because I've never been a police officer, never. But I mean, again, he gave the guy more chances probably than I would have given him. And again, I'm I'm not a cop. I've never been a cop. But when the guy started attacking me, I probably would have gone for my gun at that time instead of trying to keep tasering him and um and, and going for my baton, which which again he did. So again, I I I would have gone properly for my gun at that time. But the police officer having a better training up state than what I have. Um, you know, he um, he tried to go the non-lethal route. And my head's up to him. It, it truly is. I, like I said, I probably would have just shot him at the, at the point that he started to attack me. But, guys, the thing is, you can't attack police officers. No matter what your reason is, you can't physically attack them. Then somehow, pretend you're the damn victim. It doesn't work that way. You're not the damn victim. You're the criminal. You're trying to hurt people. You're trying to hurt him. You're trying to hurt the cop. And again, we we truly have to understand there's, there's nothing that cop could have done. Nothing. So again... You deserve to get shot. You did. And I'm sorry you lost your life. Kind of. But the fact is, you did something stupid. Guys, if you would, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. You son of a... You son of a... You son of a... You son of a...